Today we're here at VGH and we will be testing out the hyperbaric chamber and checking the ventilator that's within the hyperbaric chamber and making sure that the um, oxygen levels as well as the CO2 levels are normal. So as a biomedical engineering technologist, you're involved in the life cycle of medical devices. So that involves the acquisition and procurement of new devices, as well as new device testing and making sure they're all ready to go. I love my job because every day is different. Um, medical device technology is ever always changing and evolving. It's really exciting to be able to work with so many different types of technology. Being able to work on devices like this is really interesting. So the biomedical engineering program at BCIT is a two-year diploma program and we teach them all the basics that they need to know to be able to look after medical devices. What we do is we teach them the basic building blocks that all medical devices are made from. Once they have an understanding of the building blocks, then they can figure out any device that they've never seen before. They can handle anything. Uh, my name is Emily Langhorst. Uh, I'm a graduate of the Biomedical Engineering Program at BCIT. I work as a post-market quality engineer at Stryker. You know, I'd had a previous experience in university, you know, I did an arts degree, and I guess I just felt like I wasn't really set up to find a job after that. Um, but coming to BCIT, just, you know, the, the work placements, the industry connections, the hands-on lab experience, um, yeah, I just really felt like BCIT offered the technical skills that I needed to, you know, be able to work right away. Thanks to BCIT, I have a really rewarding career that's just full of possibilities and opportunities for the future to grow and develop, keep learning, and uh, keep working in a really cool, you know, field of healthcare.